High winds and surf, straight line winds, and tornadoes all could potentially impact Baldwin County tomorrow. News 5's Debbie Williams is live tonight, and Debbie officials there want everyone to know that they need to be taking the storm seriously. Yes, and it's already started raining here, Pete. This is one of the, the days that you were needed to get things ready for what could possibly happen tomorrow. And we've already seen signs around the county that something's coming. Surf like this, with waves breaking at four to six feet, unusual this time of year. And as the front approaches, those waves expected to build to eight to ten feet by Saturday, prompting lifeguards to post double red flags in Orange Beach. A significant threat potential for tomorrow. The Emergency Operations Center at level four activation, trying to get the word out to make preparations now for what could happen tomorrow. I've had customers all day long. You know, giving me updates because I've been up behind the register all day. Uh -huh. But I've um, been giving me updates and I'm fixing to go home and turn the TV on. <laughs> a way to get an alert is the key. Uh, also, review your shelter in place plans. If you're at work, uh, review where, you, where do you go if you're under a tornado warning. I didn't know until I was inside of Dollar General and I heard that they were canceling all the Baldwin County school stuff. So I'll have to take a look at it. <laughs> Of particular concern, folks living or vacationing in mobile homes or in RV parks. Definitely need to be paying attention if you're in a mobile home or a camper uh, enjoying the amenities of Baldwin. The timeline for the impacts to Baldwin between noon and 3 on Saturday and all of Baldwin County is at risk. Now, high wind, high surf advisory already in effect, and we could be dealing with some coastal flooding as that storm approaches tomorrow. Live on the Baldwin County Beat in Foley, Debbie Williams, WKRG, News 5.